Hi. Let's go over how to use the debugger. I have a very simple example here. I'll just walk through it very quickly. And we're gonna walk through it to see what may be happening in our program using the debugger. So we have a main. Uh, I start by having a const expr uh, of size 128 and I create a static array of that size. I can compute the, the sum of these uninitialized variable values. It should be zero. Uh, I load some test data in, I compute to average, I print it out, and then I use the sum of, of, su of n numbers to compute what the actual average is so I can kind of see if my code is working. Uh, the functions in this look like this. I have a simple compute sum, which given a, an array of data, array of floats and a size. We'll walk over them and simply compute the sum and return it. Uh, the average function is pretty sim similar. It walks over the, it basically uses the compute sum to compute the sum of those numbers, divides by the size, uh, returns that. I should probably make sure that we're, we do float arithmetic, so I'll put a float there. Uh, I return the average, what does this say? Roll back changes, no, I'll leave it at B for a moment. And then finally I load some test data in so I can do an actual calculation of the sum of n numbers. So let's run this. Um, and then see how we run the debugger. So I'll first click run up here. And I run it, I build, and it says, ooh, well, that's weird. Why is the sum of an uninitialized values some funny number? It should have been, I was hoping it would be zero. I didn't do anything. Here, let's run it again. Well, different number. Strange. Let's run it again. Yet again, different. 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 Wow. Ah, all these kind of very strange numbers showing up here. What is going on with this? Oh, look, there we, that's even more strange. It's a small negative number. That's not what I expected. Okay, so now we're going to use the debugger to kind of understand what might be happening here. The debugger lets us put in breakpoints. So there's this section here called the gutter in C Lion. And I can click on a spot, let's say right there, and create what is called a breakpoint. Those red marks represent breakpoints. So I would like to inspect what my code is doing at this point by putting in a breakpoint. I may also want to say, what is the compute sum doing too? So I'll come up here and maybe I'll put a breakpoint right here when the sum is calculated so I can start inspecting. The debugger lets you inspect code and to run it, you will put in breakpoints like this by clicking in this gutter. You can then go up to this, this bug symbol up in the upper right. We'll click on that here just like this, and it will start to bring up the debugger for us. When we run it, one thing we'll note is that it stops at these breakpoints. So it stops at actual code. So I put a breakpoint here, but it actually can't stop there because it's not really an executionable line of code. It doesn't do anything. It simply declares a variable. So it wasn't able to stop there for us, uh, but it did stop in the next line. And one thing I noticed down here is it shows me the variables that are in scope. So we have a constant int, which is 128. That's what I wanted. But it also has my array data of floats, which are size 128. So I can open this up and inspect it. Let's look at it. This is odd. I haven't done anything with the array. I simply created it and it's got really odd values in it. There's some zeros, some very small numbers, really small numbers, uh, and other things down here that when I add them up must give me a different value. That's odd, I wasn't expecting that. So the point for this to take for you is that one, you can inspect your variables and you can maybe see that they're not what you expect. The other takeaway is that if you create data, like this, an array of floats, you should initialize it to something valuable, something worthwhile, um, because you aren't guaranteed 
what the initial values will be in the memory that was given to you by the computer, especially in the stack frame. Uh, and you'll see here, there's a whole range of values. In fact, I could run this again through the debugger and I'll see maybe some different values. So let's look at this again. That's not the same as it was before. That's, there's a zero, there's, a, there's some, still some very small numbers. There's other values. Here's another one that's a little closer to zero than these others. So it changes. And so be very careful about uninitialized data in your programs. That's the big takeaway from this. But let's keep going and see what our compute sum does because I still had a breakpoint up here. So over here on the left side, you'll see your controls. You have buttons that will let you step over to the next operation. Uh, step into, so if you have a function call, we could step into it. Uh, we can force some steps. We can do some things where we can step out if we need to and then run to a specific cursor point. It's up to you on that. But right now what I'm gonna do is resume the program, which will take me to the next breakpoint uh, that I have. If I don't have any breakpoints, the program would complete and we'd be done. <clears throat> but I have a breakpoint in here in the compute sum function because we've stopped right here and we will now go, and if I click this, it should go up into the compute sum for me, which it does. This is the breakpoint I set up there. We can now start to look at the data that was passed in. So sum is set to zero, that's what I wanted. We're gonna loop over the indices. That's good, those are correct. I have to keep adding the sum together. And I start to see that we're, we're adding in those weird values. So if I step, so if I click this, resume program button, it would resume the program, go to the end of the loop, come back up to the top of the loop and then stop again on the stop on the sum line. So let's try it. It did. The sum is now that small number from the first value. Um, we have incremented the index and I could complete this a few times and you'll see the sum isn't changing too much because remember those values that we saw before were pretty small. Uh, so we'll get, we'll get very minor changes in this output for a little bit, but you can see that this is now changing a little bit. The array data is changing. Uh, we'll go through this a few times. It's 128, we're at index 28. We see small changes in the far digits here. We keep going, we have to go to 128, so I'll hurry up through this. Again, our numbers are starting to change depending on what values, the random values that were in this. This is not what I wanted in my program. It shouldn't do that. I didn't, wouldn't expect it to be this way. So I better initialize those values. Um, so I'm gonna stop the debugger and I'm gonna add in some code that will initialize these to zero. So let's put in this, we'll say for uh, int idx equals zero, idx less than n, uh, plus plus idx, and I will try to initialize these values to something reasonable, which in this case will be zero, and then we'll see, hopefully that will be zero when we're done. So we'll start with that, I'll, it's all saved. I'm gonna keep these breakpoints. I'll get rid of this one because it didn't really do anything for us, but I will check here and see where we're at with our variable. Okay, so we run it again through the debugger, that little debugging symbol. Let's check this out. So we're stopped right there. It, I did set everything to zero, so let's verify. Ah, much better. All those values are now cleared out to the value I expect. And now if I continue this up to here, I should be okay. I think we'll do a couple of them just to see. Oh good, the sum's still zero. And then I'm gonna go back down. I don't wanna go through all 128 at this point, but I'm gonna use this option, run to the cursor and I'll say, well, I'll tell you what, let's just get to here. So I'll say run to the cursor. Nope, I have to remove a breakpoint. So I'll remove the breakpoint. I'll say run to my cursor, which is right here. There we go. Now all those values are that. What value did I get back? Uh, the sum, did the sum print, we can check the output probably on the run line. Uh, eventually when it got done, 
and we could see if it was good. But so far, it certainly seems like my code is computing the right information. Uh, so we can go on and complete other debugging of my code and just see how things were going. So for instance, this is gonna load a bunch of test data from zero to N. So let's just see if that works. I'll put a breakpoint right here, right there. Before we get to this, I'll continue my code. Now I can check. Okay, so array of zero is zero, array of one is one, array of two is two, and all the way down until I get to the very end. I can see that it looks like my data is all good. So the average must be calculated well. So that's an example of how to use the debugger to inspect your code. It's still running and you have to make sure you stop it. And then you can go back to that. Uh, you can always remove these uh, breakpoints if you don't need them anymore, uh, especially after you've tested something. And this is way better than putting in printouts into your code. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, we'll have some more videos.